everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, hello, my name is Lily. Today we're going to talk about my thoughts and my review on the Justin Clue bracelet and the ring. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about my thoughts on it because it's been half a year since I originally purchased it. I purchased it end of September 2023 and it's now end of March 2024. So I kind of wanted to share with you um, after wearing it almost every day except for a period of time and I will explain to you later what are my thoughts in terms of any pros, any cons, um, how it looks, how it fits, how whether I still like it. So if this is a bracelet or ring that you're thinking about getting, stay tuned um, and I'll share my thoughts with you. All right, let's go ahead and get right into it. So I do have them on right now, so I'll just show them to you really quickly. I'm sure everyone's very familiar with how the bracelet and the ring looks like. It's basically the nail. Um, the one I have is just the small regular um, one in 18 karat yellow gold. There's no diamonds on here. I have the most simple one. And then of course I have the matching ring with it. Let me actually just take it off so you guys can see here. This is the ring and I actually just went into uh, Cartier today and I'll tell you sort of the reason I went in today. I got the ring polished so it actually looks really nice and shiny. And for those of you who didn't know, which I'm pr pretty sure that maybe everyone knew, but I didn't really know. So just sharing it. But basically, um, anytime you buy a, um, a jewelry piece from Cartier, they offer complimentary cleaning for your jewelry pieces. So you could go in and then um, they'll basically clean it, shine it, buff it up. So it looks really, really nice. Um, and that's why my ring is looking a lot better <laughs> than it was just before I went in today. Um, it's a really quick process. Literally, it took like probably 10 minutes. So if you're you know, in the area, if there's like a mall or something, you could just pop in, give them your item to clean. Um, I don't even think you need to make an appointment for it. Um, but double check on that. That was my understanding. Um, at least at the Valley Fair Mall near, um, you know, where I live. But basically, it's a pretty nice service. So anyways, this is the bracelet. And let me just show you really quickly the mechanism in terms of how you can take it on and off. So um, a lot of folks, and myself included, when I first purchased this, I was so wary and so nervous of how you take this bracelet on and off because obviously there is no clasp anywhere, right, to unhook it or anything. You literally just like kind of bend the bracelet like that and then it comes off like this so that was always my fear that oh my gosh i would break this thing because there's also an orientation to how this um this bracelet should be uh should stay or lie flat as you can see this is the correct orientation if you pull this over onto the other side there's going to be a gap in between and you definitely don't want to do that uh the sales associate did tell me that you know, if that happens, it's okay. Just like bring it right back up because if you leave it in that position, in the other position where this nail is on the other side of um, the ends here, or the nail head is on the other side of the end here, it's going to start like deforming the bracelet over time. So you definitely don't want to do that. Make sure it's always in the right orientation. And to put it back on, all you simply need to do is you. I, what I like to do is I like to lay it on my wrist like this. And she did tell me that, you know, depending on yourself, your li your lifestyle, you know, this is definitely a bracelet that can get easily snagged. And I'm going to tell you a story about my experience with this. She said that if you make this face medially um, to your body, it might actually be better. So what I like to do is obviously you put it like this and then you just flip it over. And that's it. So after you get over, you know, the fear of breaking this when you put it on or take it off, it's actually really, really easy. So it's a very easy bracelet to take on and off. You definitely don't need another person. I think that's kind of the beauty of this bracelet that you don't need another person to do it for you. A lot of times when you have bracelets where you need to like clasp it, you need someone else to do it. If you have long fingernails or even if you have regular fingernails, it's just kind of difficult, right? So this is definitely very independent <laughs> in that regards. Um, but notice that I, uh, this is facing this way, right? The nail end. And so when I'm looking at it, it's facing me in the medial part. And that um, for some customers, apparently that has worked well for them. So I'm going to try it like this this time. But going into like how it has been. Now, I will start off with the ring first. The ring has been wonderful. I've had no issues with the ring getting caught on anything. Um, I will say that I have not been wearing this 24 seven. I wear this on most days. And then at nighttime, I actually don't like to have anything on my fingers anymore. Now, as I've gotten older, I just feel like I don't want anything on me when I'm sleeping. When I was younger, I was a lot less finicky. So I used to wear rings all the time. But now when I go to bed, I take all my rings off. And then um, even though this is, you know, obviously 18 karat gold, you could take a shower in this. It can be in water. 
water all the time, it could be fine. But I, again, like I said, I don't, you know, wear this at night. So before I shower, I actually take this off and I put it aside and in the mornings I put it back on. But I do wear it a lot. Um, probably 95% of the time since I've gotten this ring back in September and I have absolutely no issues, no snagging, no nothing. Um, so I love it. And I like to wear it on my index finger because I wear um, these two other rings here. And just if you're interested, this one on the bottom is actually from Majuri. It's a 14 karat with a tiny little diamond. The one on top is actually from Costco and it's 14 karat white gold with diamonds around it. And I just thought it was pretty cute. So I um, paired it like this. Love this ring. A lot of people have concerns about, in, about the nail indenting on your skin. I will say that yes it does cop you know if you keep this on all day you definitely will see a little demarcation on the uh, surface of your skin but for me it doesn't hurt so i think what is important is that you don't get a ring that fits perfectly like your size because do know that when summer comes obviously our body gets warm we're going to get a little bit uh, more puffy and our fingers are going to get more puffy so you want to make sure that the ring can you know depending on your lifestyle right if you only want to wear this during the summer or only the winter then you know you can adjust accordingly with your ring size but for me i wanted to wear this year round so i got a size that was just just a tiny bit like not see how e it's like it can kind of easily slide off but not as much i could have gotten one size smaller if it was my normal size but because it had this ring head i went half a size small or not half a size i think quarter of a size smaller um but yeah if you want to get this ring obviously i highly recommend you going into the boutique to try it out I myself was a little lazy, so I got it delivered to my house. I didn't want to drive over there, um, but I ended up going to the boutique anyways, just to, you know, I'll do some other things there. But um, yeah, definitely try it out at the boutique and then you'll be able to find your perfect ring size. So yeah, I have nothing bad to say about this ring. I think it looks gorgeous. For a little while back then, I was actually pairing this with the love ring and I actually wore it on my middle finger. It also fits on my middle finger, but I've just been, you know, wearing it on my index finger and I really like it. Okay, so no qualms about this ring. I love it. Um, if you like the style, I do think it's very unique. I feel that you should definitely go and try it out for yourself. Now, on to this little bangle here. <laughs> do I have a story to tell? Okay, so the reason I went in, and let me just take this off so you guys can see it better here. Um, but the reason I went into the store today was because this bangle actually um, got completely warped, okay? And I was wearing this religiously every day. And one day, I was basically cleaning the cat. <laughs> um, if you've seen my other videos, you probably know I have a cat. He's a great little guy. Anyways, I was cleaning him, and he didn't really like it. And he kind of just like gave me a little bit of an attitude <laughs> and um, kind of like went like that, pawed me a little bit and then I like moved my arm away and then it got caught on my sweater at that time and completely bent it out of shape. So this thing completely warped and I was just horrified because I was like, oh my God, I just broke my bracelet and this was like $3,500, right? Or something along those lines. I don't remember how much it is, but basically it's an expensive bracelet. It's an expensive investment for how little you get, but it is a very beautiful, very unique style. And of course you're paying for the name brand, right? But, um, if you have seen my last, uh, not my last, if you have seen my video a couple videos ago explaining why I got this, um, you'll know, but basically I got this, um, you know, to commemorate, originally staying at my old job, but I was just horrified that it completely warped. And it was just, I could not, this was like all bent because it got, it snagged in my sweater and it just completely destroyed it. I could not get it to, um, to go back to its normal shape. It was just gone. And so I was like, okay, well, then I just have to bring it back to the boutique, pay for how much, however much it was to get it repaired and bring it home. But I was just like, man, this bracelet is not very good in terms of someone who maybe have an active lifestyle or who loves to wear clothes that have like could get easily snagged like sweaters and everything and so you know at that moment i was just like uh i i sh probably should have got another another bracelet but anyways after like two months of letting it sit on my table and not doing anything with it because i was just mad at myself that it happened i finally decided to take it to cartier and then i was like i'll just pay for how much, however much it was going to be to like fix it because what's the use of it just sitting there right anyways i brought it in about 
almost two months ago to the boutique and they were like, yeah, we can definitely um, repair it for you. We're going to send it over to um, the main main headquarters or repair shop um, that they have. And um, we'll let you know how much it's going to cost or, you know, all that good stuff. So a month goes by. I don't hear back. Um, I end up texting the sales associate and I was like, yeah, what's the status? Because originally she did say that it would take eight weeks. So it was like about six weeks at that time and I didn't hear anything. That's why I reached out to her and I was like, you know, what's the status? And um, I don't know, like I was really shocked when I heard the news um, that she gave me. But she's like, oh, well, they took a look at it and they were like, you know what? We're probably just not going to fix it. We're just going to replace a brand new one for you. And I was like, really? Oh, wow. That's like super nice. I wasn't honestly even expecting that at all. Um, and I was expecting to like, you know, pay something probably kind of a couple hundred dollars to get it fixed at the minimum. Right. And they were like, oh, we'll just replace it for you. So that was super, um, that was super shocking and surprising in a very, very nice way, of course. So that's why I went into the boutique today and they basically replaced like for like. So the exact same model, the exact same size. And actually I was like, can I actually try a smaller? size because I felt like this was just a little bit loose and if I had liked the smaller size they would have replaced it for with a smaller size for me too so as long as it's the same exact model in the same color way so that was just amazing service to me honestly um and so that's why I got a brand new just include bracelet today and I'm gonna be very careful with it but I guess what I really wanted to mention and highlight here is the fact that Cartier has like incredible customer service. I will say that this bracelet and this ring, it's the first time I purchased it brand new directly from the boutique before I have gotten the love ring from um, Fashion File and then I didn't like that size and then I got another one from eBay, pre-loved and um, I mean, they're fine. But if you really want that boutique experience and if you want sort of like that warranty, right? Um, in a sense, I mean, I don't know how often if this is like the norm what they do um but it was bent pretty badly but it wasn't like so bad that i feel like you couldn't fix it and they just thought it was easier just to give me a brand new one i just think that that's just incredible customer service i've had this for six months now i don't know what the story would be like if you had it for a couple years and that happened but i had it for six months and that happened i explained it to literally i just went in and i was like yeah i want to repair this like you know can you help me they didn't even ask me what happened they're just like okay yeah let me let's we'll send it over there to the repair shop and then they'll let us know how much the quote would be and then they were just like yeah, it's fine. Just we'll just replace it for you for free. No taxes, no anything, just a free replacement. So I thought that was really, really nice. But um, then going to the actual bracelet itself, do I recommend this? I do have some hesitations now because of what happened. If you have a more active lifestyle where you're constantly like doing stuff with your arms and your hands, like, you know, like me, like a crazy person waving right now, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? I don't know if I would recommend this unless you're super careful or, you know, the types of clothing you wear. You just have to be very careful and mindful of, um, you know, what you're doing with your arms when you're wearing this. And it's just an extra level of something to think about, um, which I don't really enjoy doing because we're already so busy, right? Like you don't want to put extra brain cells or ATPs into thinking about this, but you kind of want to because it's an expensive piece and it's beautiful and you want to preserve it and have as much, um, get as much longevity out of this, right? But I would say that if you want to get this bracelet and wear it specifically for special occasions, I think definitely go for it. It's a gorgeous bracelet and I think if you stack it it'll look even more pretty but for me I had originally planned just to wear this on a daily basis oh here we go I did it the other way again I think that's just how I'm used to it but um I plan to wear this on a daily basis that's why I had it on me all the time but I think that in the future if I do plan to deal with animals um cleaning my cat cleaning my dog or something I probably would want to take this off and because of how easy it is to slip on and off I don't think that's going to be an issue so um a lot of folks were like you know, should they get the love bracelet? Should they get the Justin Clue? I actually thought about this long and hard before too. One of the things, uh, two reasons why I got the Justin Clue first, this one, um, actually is just very unique i really like the style and the nail just really to me it symbolized um you know hardiness and challenge and just you know complete continuing with like what you do and following through with what you t do just being like as hard as a nail you know honestly it sounds a little um cliched but i really like um what it 
sort of symbolized to me at that time when I purchased it and I still really like it. Um, whereas for the love bracelet, you know, obviously it's a symbolism of love, um, especially between partners. If your partner gives it to you or if your mom or your parents or, you know, whoever, whoever's in your family gives it to you or your friends, um, it symbolizes love, right? And and it's a beautiful bracelet, but it was also very expensive. It was, I think, what was it, like $6,000? I think this one was $3,500. Granted, this is a lot thinner. It's actually not solid gold. I think this is like hollow inside. That's why you're able to bend it like that. Um, so in terms of worth, I'm not sure this is actually a better price just because there's it's not solid gold, whereas the love bracelet is solid gold, right? So it really depends on your preference. Um, but uh, this is my first bracelet. A lot of folks say that you should get the love bracelet as your first bracelet. If I were to go back in time, would I consider the love bracelet? Mm, kind of a hard thing to say, honestly. I mean, I think that I'm happy with the decision I made. I'm just a little upset that I was very careless um, because I didn't think it would get bent like that. So I think it's definitely a lesson learned, another chance granted with a brand new bracelet free of charge. Um, so I think that Honestly, it's your preference, um, but if you have a very active lifestyle, if you don't want to you know, give two cahoots about the bracelet, maybe consider the love bracelet just because it probably wouldn't you know, get snacked so easily and get warped. Again, my um, like example scenario here is probably a little unique. I don't think everyone, this happens to most people. Otherwise, this bracelet probably wouldn't be sold anymore because no one would be buying it. But um, yeah, that was just me and my clumsiness, you know. So um, do I recommend it? I mean, I do. I think it's beautiful. I think especially if you have it stacked against other bracelets, just be careful with it. Um, but at the end of the day, I think that it's important that you go try it out in the boutique. Like I was saying about the ring, try out the love bracelet, try out the just include bracelet, see which one looks better on like, you know, um, your frame because everyone's different, right? I will say that because this is so thin, it is like, it's, it's a very delicate bracelet, right? So sometimes I wonder, well, if it was thicker, it might it look a little better because sometimes I feel like it's a little, it's a little empty on my arm that I might need to stack this with something. So if you want to stack your bracelets, maybe a thinner one like this, like the Justin Clue, um, might look nice. But if you want it to be the only piece on your arm, well, maybe you might want to consider the love bracelet. I don't know if that in, any of that helped, but I really just wanted to share with you my experience, you know, you, with this bracelet and the horror that I experienced for that split second complete like after you know it got warped but yeah I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out just because of their phenomenal customer service so I will say that if you buy anything from Cartier you know obviously you're paying a lot but you're also getting that incredible service that comes with the price tag so um just yeah just be uh, be aware of that and um oh one last thing I wanted to mention before we end this video is that we actually hit a thousand subscribers and I am so excited and so thankful for you all. Thank you so much for subscribing. It means a lot to me. I mentioned a couple videos back that once we hit a thousand subscribers, I was going to do a giveaway. So I want to honor that. I will be doing a giveaway of a Lululemon belt bag. I will show that belt bag in the next video. I just wanted to give you all a heads up on that and to think a little bit about what you might want to tell me. Um, but basically, I would like for you all who are interested in the giveaway to post in my next video the video after this one immediately um, to tell me like what which bag you think reflects your personality the most I'm so curious to hear um, at least for this year right now because we change right we always evolve throughout the years at this moment in your life which bag reflects your personality the most I will start off I think for me right now in 2024 the first quarter I would have to say it's the lululemon belt bag you probably are sick of me like talking about it, but it's just so simple to use. It's so easy, it's so lightweight, and it does the job that I need it to do. And so for me, that sort of active sports where light portability, simplicity, um, you know, hardiness, and it's like really great quality material, I think that's kind of what reflects my personality, at least this year in the first quarter. Who knows that may change, right? But yeah, would love to hear what it is for you. Um, and again, don't post that in this video. I'm going to make another next video. And for that video, most likely I will talk about my most used bags in the first quarter of 2024. 
I want you to post in there and I also need to do some research in terms of how to send out the giveaway once a winner has been selected. Again, it's going to be completely random uh, once I have all of your comments there. So I'll give you more information, but just think a little bit about that um, and to post in that video when it comes up. Okay, well, thank you all so much for joining, for watching as always, and I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are. And as always, please stay healthy, happy, and safe, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye. Thank you.